Hello everyone, it is Tiffany of Clarity Conference Courage Women's Empowerment and I am super excited to be talking about today's topic, 10 ways to reduce your stress during the holidays. Many of you know this upcoming week we have a major holiday coming up. For some people it's Christmas, for some people it's Hanukkah, for some people it's Kwanzaa. So a lot of different holidays that everyone will be celebrating right here this week around the same time. So I want to do this video to talk about how to reduce your stress during the holidays. Now, my personal opinion, I feel like the holidays should be a time where we're automatically able to relax and enjoy family, enjoy friends. But what I find is that people do the exact opposite. They gear up to be more stressed out. You know, I gotta buy the gifts. I have to put trees up at a certain time. I have to meet certain people at a certain time. I mean, it's all these to-do lists that they create specifically around the holidays. And it almost makes, fe makes me feel like at least that the holiday itself loses its meaning. It's no longer about enjoying you know, time with family and friends, or even focusing on, if you have a religious aspect to your holiday, focusing on the religious aspect. It has become so commercialized that people literally drive themselves insane to do things that really end up stressing them out, which is the opposite of what I believe the holidays should be about. So I wanted to do this video to really help those who really wanna celebrate the holidays and really wanna have a good time, but don't wanna be super stressed out, this is for you. So this so video is going to be about 10 ways to reduce your stress during the holidays. Now, as always, before we get into the content, make sure you share, like, and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, please make sure that you let other people know about this video so they can also know how to reduce their stress during this holiday season. All right, let's jump into the content. Number one, sleep and rest. Yes, you need to get sleep and rest all the time, but especially during the holiday season. You can get so stressed out and not even realize how early you're getting up and how late you're staying up just to get things done for the holidays. So be mindful of getting plenty of sleep. Now, that's different for everyone. Some people feel refreshed with seven hours. Some people, eight hours. Some people, they need nine or 10 hours of sleep. But the bottom line is create a schedule and make a list of everything that you need to do during the holidays. Put it on your calendar in small increments so that you can make sure you can get it done in enough time to get to bed early and wake up early if you need to, or whatever it means to you. Get to bed late and then wake up late just so you can get enough sleep. The bottom line is make sure you're giving your body that time to sleep so that you can rest, rejuvenate, and be prepared to have enough energy for your day. The second thing that you can do is exercise and daily nutrition. Yes, just because it's the holidays doesn't mean you have to throw all of your exercise and your nutritional habits out the window. As a matter of fact, I think it's important for you to double down on your exercise and nutrition during the holidays. Meaning if you exercise three days a week on a regular basis during the holidays, you might wanna actually ramp that up to four or five days a week. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying ramp up high intensity exercise, I just mean ramp up the activity that you do to relax and calm you. You see, exercise helps you to release natural serotonin levels in your body. It has a hormonal effect. And nine times out of 10, after you've exercised, you actually feel better. Your body actually feels that natural high that you get when you have a physical activity. Same thing with nutrition. We know on the holiday day, you're gonna have dinner, you may have sweets, you may have cookies, you may have ice cream, you have cake, you may have all types of food that you don't even normally eat. Leading up to that day or those couple of days, make sure you try to stay intentional about your nutritional needs. Don't just throw the, for a whole two weeks, throw it all out of the window, all your nutrition that you normally eat because it's going to make you feel physically sick because your body's like, whoa, what are you doing? I'm not used to this. That's why a lot of times during the holidays, you see people get sick quicker because they step out of their normal routine and their bodies, their physical immunity start to go down because they're not giving their bodies the things that they normally would give it to function on a daily basis. So make sure that you are giving your body what it needs as far as exercise and nutrition, double down on it even during the holiday season. And if you're wondering, like Tiffany, you know, I'm in a place that's cold, you know, I can't get out to the gym as much or I have a lot of family around, 
what can I do at home quickly to get in that exercise and maybe, you know, help me out with nutrition. Definitely check out the link in my description. Beachbody.com has an amazing program where you can literally do a 30 minute workout at home or wherever you have a phone or a smart tablet. So you can get it done quickly and it can be out of the way if you don't want to do a full gym exercise or some hardcore exercise. They also have plenty of nutritional programs that you can use again to stay in line with your nutrition during the holiday season. I'll actually have a link to beachbody.com below with my special discount code. All right, guys. Sunshine and vitamin D. Yes, you need this during the holiday season. Now, I'm in the United States and I'm on the eastern southern part of the United States. So depending on where you are, this may be different for different people. If you're living in a warm area or in a warm country, maybe you get plenty of sunshine. But nine times out of 10, <laughs> For people like me who are in the United States right now during our winter area, we may have a lot of cloudy days. And research has shown that people who have darker skin complexions or browner skin complexions may have a more difficult time actually absorbing vitamin D from the sun. So my suggestion and what I do personally, I actually either go outside on a sunny day and make sure that I get you know enough vitamin D, not too much sun exposure where it might make me sick, but just enough to get that natural vitamin D. I also take vitamin D supplements. Now you all have heard me talk about this in other videos when it comes to supplementation. Vitamin D is one of those things that I actually take just to make sure I'm getting enough of it. So again, getting your vitamin D is important. Again, vitamin D has a direct correlation to your hormones and making you feel good. Increasing your joy, increasing your happiness, increasing your calm and peace, and helping you to reduce the natural cortisone or the stress levels in your body. So make sure whether you're going out into sunlight or you're taking a supplement that you are getting plenty of vitamin D. Now, the fourth thing is self care. Now I talk about self care a lot, but guys, during the holidays, you need to make sure you're still focusing on self care and self care does not have to be all consuming. Self care can be going for a walk in nature. It can be having a salt bath with some really lovely salt bombs that you enjoy. It can even be taking a shower with vapor bombs. I love those things, guys. They, they smell so good. I actually have a link in my description that you can jump on and get some of these items that I'm talking about. Self care can even be things like maybe getting your hair, hair done, your nails done, getting a massage, whatever it means to you. The bottom line is give yourself a period of time during the holiday season, especially if you have family visiting, where you go out and you do something nice for yourself. Buy yourself something nice, buy yourself a little gift before the holidays get started. Do something that makes you feel good and actually makes you feel renewed. Because self-care isn't just about necessarily buying yourself things, but it's about taking the time to pour back into yourself so that you can feel better as you move through the holiday season. Number five, socialize with positive people. And when I say positive people, people that actually uplift you, people that make you feel good. For some of you, you may have a tribe online. You all have a special interest, maybe your book club, maybe, maybe a, a club for mommies or whatever it is, but that's your people. Those are your tribe that you talk to every now and again, and you just feel good before and after you get to in, engage with them. Make sure you spend time with those people during the holidays. For some of you, it may be your friend group. It may be a group of people that you hang with after work or some colleagues that you just got to know really good. Make sure you keep in touch with them during the holidays. And yes, if you have family coming in or if you're going to visit your family, I get it, that might be a little difficult, but carve out a good 10 to 15 minutes. And hey, you can be intentional. It may be a group of you that say, hey guys, I have a lot of family coming in. How about you? You got family coming in? Why don't we do a happy hour in between or right before our family comes in or right before the holiday or right before we leave? Just so you can give yourself a dose of that joy from positive people. Because we like to believe that our family is super positive, but let's be realistic. A lot of family members are not necessarily people that in general we hang around because we didn't choose them. We just got put into them. So just make sure that whether it's your family, whether it's your friends, coworkers, colleagues, whoever, that you're allowing yourself to be around a positive, uplifting group of people so that your holidays, you can at least have memories of some joy <laughs> while you are remembering your holidays. Six, listen to some upbeat music. 
Nothing makes me feel better, when, especially when I'm having a blue day, than listening to some music that gets me excited, that gets me pumped. Guys, I even love to sing in the shower. I turn on my, my music up loud in the shower and I'm just singing. And it gets my day excited. It gets me excited to take on the day, especially if it's a, a happy music. I love the song by Pharrell, Because You're Happy. I, I think it's called The Happy Song. And he's saying, because you're happy, dance along if you feel like the, you know? Something that pumps you up, makes you feel good. Sing it, dance to it, get excited. Allow that to be your mantra for the day. Happy song or whatever it is. I'm a, I'm a queen song or I don't know, Beyonce or whoever it is that gets you joyful. Just put it on, build yourself up before you go out and start your day. I'm telling you, it works. And it works instantaneously to change your whole mood. Music has been shown to be the quickest way someone can change their mood within seconds. I'm telling you, if you have some upbeat music, and I, I'm saying upbeat, not sad music, not downer music, but upbeat, happy, high tempo music, you're going to feel better. Play it on the way to the event, play it after the event, play it when you get your, your morning started. Have that one song that makes you feel like you can take on the world and listen to it during the holidays. Number seven, having a soul routine. Now, when I say a soul routine, I'm talking about that thing that gets you back connected to your inner self, your spirit. You know, that mindfulness routine that you should have every single day. And a mindfulness routine, of course, doesn't have to be super long, but it is something that you can always go back to that really anchors you and grounds you in reality, in joy, in peace, whatever it means to you. Now, some mindfulness routines could be having sacred space. You all know I've done a video on how to create sacred space where you have kind of an altar that has pictures that remind you of feeling zen, feeling at peace. Maybe you have some candles. You guys know I love sand and fog candles. I have a link to those candles in the description below that I love the smell of them. Just the scent of the candles makes me feel at peace, at ease. At my sacred space altar, I go and I meditate. I journal. I also call it my well-being space. The bottom line is these are things that I do every single day to bring myself back to that feeling of groundedness, peacefulness, and that feeling of just being centered and being in myself, that knowingness. You need a routine every single day. And again, I've done videos on this, countless videos, on what it means to have a mindfulness, soulful routine. Do it every single day during the holiday season. Like I said, with exercise, double down on it make sure you're getting that in. For some people that also might be hitting your sinking bowls every morning. For some people it might be taking 10 minutes every day to chant. Again, getting that high vibration and that centeredness that you need to ground yourself and go on with your day. So definitely make sure if you wanna reduce your stress that you have a soulful mindfulness routine and that you do it every single day. Number eight, volunteer. I know a lot of people who actually use the holidays to really give back and it makes them feel better. And I'm telling you, whatever you volunteer, whether you volunteer with animals, whether you volunteer at a homeless shelter or a women's shelter or with special needs children, the bottom line is when you are able to give back to the world physically, actually going out and doing things, it makes you feel better. Now don't get me wrong, donating and having charity events, that's important too and you should do that. But when you actually physically go out and you connect with other people, or again, animals, if you're volunteering with an animal shelter, you'd be amazed at how much it helps to decrease your stress levels. Just the act of giving and taking your mind off yourself or off your personal situation or your family event or issues will actually make you feel so much better. Altruism in and of itself has been shown to make you feel at peace and at ease and kind of give you a sense of euphoria. Cause it's like, wow, really helping someone else really was a gift to me. It made me feel like a better person. And knowing that something inside of me, that time, that attention, whatever it was that I gave to them, helped their life in some type of way, again, it just makes me feel good. So I suggest that as part of your holiday reduction of stress kind of regimen is to volunteer in some small way in your community and give back. Number nine, boundaries. You all have heard me talk about this before. 
I am a very major advocate of boundaries. Now, when I say boundaries, I mean actually having personal boundaries, putting limits around what you will say yes to, because you got to think about it during the holiday season. You got a lot of events, a lot of probably invitations to parties and get togethers and people wanting you to do different things and visit them or come over. And you can't do everything because if you try to do 15, 20 different things on your list, you're going to probably burn out. And nine times out of 10, it's going to have a mental and an emotional negative effect on you. And by the end of the holiday season, you're so resentful of all the work and all the effort that you had to put in to visit this person and do this and buy this gift that you are going to not enjoy your holidays. So be willing to say no so that when you say yes, it is a yes from deep within your heart, a yes that you actually are committed to and a yes that has basically a sense of peace around it. To me, what boundaries does, it helps me align with my peace and it will do the same for you. When you have boundaries set up where you're willing to say no, or you're willing to limit contact with things that you feel are overall kind of negative or negative people or negative experiences, you will feel so much better in the end and you will be able to go home and sleep at night knowing that you did what was best for your peace. You lined up with your joy, with your harmony, and you kept yourself in balance. And I promise you that alone will reduce your stress for the holidays. Now, number 10 guys is super important. I've talked about this before therapy. Therapy is important in general, 365 days a year. We all go through different moments of our life where we might need to talk to a counselor, a therapist, a social worker, a psychiatrist, someone that is certified in these different studies of psychology, the human mind and human behavior. And it doesn't mean that you're you know, mentally ill or you're sick or you're whatever. It just means that you're a human being. You have challenges. And from what I've seen, especially with coaching world, is that during the holiday season, because people are more stressed out, because people might get more depressed because of remembering loved ones that they've lost during the holiday season, it's so important that you double down on talking to someone, on reaching out for support so that you don't feel alone. I love onlinetherapy.com. I'm a partner with them. They are one of my affiliates. I have a link in the description. But what onlinetherapy.com does, they're all online. So no matter where you are in the world, you can find an online certified therapist that you can talk to. And it's different people in different parts of the world that have different specialties, but they also give you different activities, worksheets, things that help you get your mind at ease and at peace. So they have various levels of help that they can give you. They even have yoga videos and, you know, nutritional activities that can help you during this time. So definitely take a look at my link onlinetherapy.com where you may get a special discount just for using my link when you sign up for the program. The bottom line is take care of yourself, reach out for help if you know you need it, especially right now during the holiday season. So guys, that was my top 10 ways to reduce stress during the holidays. A lot of these things I have done for myself and I continue to do them really all year round because you can use them anytime. But I say double down on them during the holidays. Make sure and be intentional that you're using them during the holidays because this is a stressful time and you want to be able to enjoy yourself. You want to be able to relax because nine times a 10, this is probably the last bit of time you're going to be having before the new year gets started. So go ahead and enjoy yourself. Don't allow stress and anxiety to pull you down. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely take a look at a lot of those links with a lot of my affiliates that I've mentioned in the video and see if any of them might be helpful for you to help reduce your stress and have a great holiday season. Now, as always, make sure you share, like, and subscribe to this video. Make sure you click that notification bell for all the videos that I release every single week. Have a happy and healthy holiday season, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.